What's going on you guys? This is Ty Smith, Minor Renaissance Man. Gonna be doing another reaction video for this particular segment. Um, make sure y'all check out my other videos as y'all gonna probably get tired of me saying this, but just don't watch my reaction videos. I know y'all really, really like them and I know I actually give good messages at the end. But make sure y'all check out why I call myself Modern Renaissance Man. Y'all gonna see I do a lot of things because I got a lot of new projects that's gonna be coming up. And let me go ahead and give you a little bit of updates that's kind of been going on too. I've been offered to do like t-shirts, and um, with things on there that I say, I guess people like this is you're saying, like somebody said I should do a t-shirt because I guess I get that tingling sensation in the crown of my head and I'm always like, Ooh. somebody said I should get like a, I don't know, like an emblem or some type of icon made with me doing like this and like make it all cartoonish looking and put it on a shirt. And I don't know, they say I should put a quote of what that, I'm like, I don't know what you call that sensation in the head, even medical, there's no word for that. We call it the... Y'all call it goosebumps. I don't know if you call it goosebumps because I don't get that in my arms when I feel that it just this, it all just comes to the crown of my head and just just fizz. It don't go down my spine or anything. It's just right there. And anyway, somebody said I should get a T-shirt made with that on there and then like put like M R M whatever like that. And they said I should call it like a M R M itis or something like that. So it's like, do you got the M R M itis? And I guess that can be my own little thing for when I do that right there. And others say, you know, the things I say at the end, I hope and pray that you guys all have food, shelter, and clothing. Most of all, I hope and pray you guys are all in perfect health. Those are the four pillars that I've been taught and learned all my life. So they was thinking, like, maybe you should do a t-shirt with it on the back and whatever. So y'all just tell me what y'all think. These are just ideas that people see that since this channel seems to be growing extremely well, people said I should do things like that. But y'all know I'm not in here to market or anything like that because you see what I do. If I was to do something like that and make money off of that... I will personally be going and donating that money, giving it to somebody. I'm not going to be donated to a certain charity. I know a lot of people do that, but me personally, I would like to see do a video on you guys seeing me doing it or giving it to a family that I know within the church or within uh, some of my patients who have kids or grandkids that's going through a hard time. I will do a video on me actually personally going and giving the money to them to help them along the way. So anyway, that's just what's been going on right now. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Leave a comment. And uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead. Also, another subscriber, I'm so sorry, I forgot her name, but she suggested that I just make like a video like I'm doing right now. And I just say, hey, guys, this is Ty Smith, my Renaissance man. I want you guys to leave comments only on this video of songs y'all want me to do and leave it at that. That way I can just go to that video and look at all the comments of songs that y'all want me to do and go from there. It's just an idea. Y'all tell me what y'all think. I think it's brilliant. Okay, so anyway... I'm going to go ahead and get into this next song that y'all been requesting. It's Mark Browser. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Bruiser, Browser. And it's called Home. So I'm about to go ahead and get right on into it. Baby boy, don't 
son finally found his way home So take me home Here we go I damn should have felt the groove Like I was swimming in a sea of soul I'm so glad I did that. I was completely surprised by that. Man, that dude is bad. So I'm definitely going to be putting, I'm not being biased, but I'm going to definitely put his name in big letters as of something I might be scrolling on and landing on. But yeah, I was feeling that. He had me sweating again. Man, that was off the chain. Is this dude almost the same age as Chris Stapleton? Is he young Chris Stapleton? Whatever it is, I don't know if he can be Chris Stapleton's son or something. Because man, when he started getting that in his voice, he started to sound like Stapleton a little bit. And for you ones, it's going to be trolling. Dude, why did you say he sound like a black guy? There's no such thing as sound like a black guy. You know what, y'all? Let's be real about this. You know good and well. There's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with saying somebody sound like a black guy, somebody sound like a white guy. There's this guy in our church. Named, we're going to just say he was in our church back in the late 90s into the early 2000s. We're going to say his name is Brother M. When he was up there singing and playing the organ, this pat this evangelist got up there and he spoke. And the first thing he said is that, man, when he was up there singing, I had to turn around and do a total take because you up there singing, you sound like a white boy. Because Brother Marcus is very proper. So you know what, y'all? I know that there are stereotypes, but at the same time, let's just be realistic. You know, good and well, if I sat there and I started going, yeah, boy, what you what you saying though, huh? What you want? What you what you mean, cuz? You gonna come on now. I ain't heard no white people talk like that. I'm just saying. So of course. When I say somebody sound like a black person, I'm saying based off of my experiences from music that I've heard, from people, voices that I heard in the music, it sounded like a white dude. So let's just be real. Everybody, come on, y'all talk about this stuff in y'all homes and stuff like that. Like the first time, like I told somebody before, when I first heard Eminem, first of all, when I think of Eminem's, I know I think of candy first. And then the number one thing about Eminem is that they're chocolate. So when I first heard Eminem rapping, there was no question in my mind that the dude was black. I just thought he was black. And then when I found out he was white, it was like, what in the world? Okay, so let's just be real about this stuff and move on. Let's get on. Don't try to be all politically correct and be all, well, there's no such thing as, you know, somebody sounding black, somebody sounding white. Yes, there is. I don't even do that. So anyway. To the trolls and the haters. If y'all want to fire at me, go right ahead because you know it's just going to bounce right off. Thick armor right here. You cannot penetrate it. So go ahead and shoot anyway. Just to show y'all. Go ricochet right back at you. So anyway, Mark, I hope I'm saying it right. Bruiser, browser. If I'm saying this wrong with somebody, put like a little quotation in there and say how it's really supposed to be said so I can keep on getting his name right for future videos because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be hearing more of this guy. Okay? Loved it. 
This is Ty Smith, my Renaissance man. Oh yeah, just before I do this, in the beginning, that did throw me off because when that black guy was sitting there and you heard that little, mm -hmm, I thought that was a black man getting ready to sing it. So then when the white dude opened his mouth, it was like a, what? So anyway, this is Ty Smith, my Renaissance man. Get ready to check out. I hope you guys all have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray that you guys are all in great health. God bless you all in Jesus' name.